Our next guest is selfish, impatient, and a little insecure. He makes mistakes. He is out of control and at times hard to handle. But if you can handle him at his worst, then you sure as hell don't deserve him at his best. I recycled this from an intro for another act from a previous show. Ladies and germs, give it up for the melodic, the cherubic, the incomparable Adam Peters. Cup. Asian people, this is delightful to have you all here. Um, this is going to be something slightly different uh, to break up the just normalness of the rest of the show. Because um, uh, I was talking to Mac earlier, let's keep up the illusion that this is a real host. Uh, I was talking to Mac earlier about uh, something I did whilst I was in Belgium as an exchange student. He wanted me to repeat it here for you. but. Yeah. Mac, a delightful guy. Uh, it really needs to get some meds though, he's really depressed. Um, <laughs> so, whilst I was an exchange student after high school, uh, in, I went to Belgium. Uh, that's where I was an exchange student. Yeah! Woo! <laughs> <laughs> the only time that's ever happened for Belgium. Um, no, it's fine, no one cares about Belgium. I, I'm not expecting you to suddenly give a damn about Belgium now. They did invent, no, they invented french fries, which yeah. they're very angry about. <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God, this is not no a lie. Wait, sorry? Yeah, they, 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 they eat it with mayonnaise. That's the traditional Belgian way to, like, when, when I got there, they're like, what, what do you call these in Australia. And I'm like, oh, we, we call them chips? And he's like, you don't call them french fries? I'm like, no, we call them chips. He's like, you are welcome here! And that's, <laughs> they're like really angry about it. Like every time they meet in America, they're like, fuck you, buddy. Um, but, and I was really excited when I got there because uh, I was going to the French speaking part of Belgium. I was, I was um, excited to learn French because I was excited to be able to speak French when I got back because I'm like, fucking women love guys who can speak French. <laughs> yeah! And then I got back having learned French and I realized they liked French guys and uh, speaking French was incidental, uh, meaning I had effectively wasted a year. Uh, but whilst I was learning French, I tested myself and I decided that what I would do to test myself is I would translate the very next song to come up on shuffle on my iPod, uh, which happened to be uh, Breakfast at Tiffany's by Deep Blue Summer. Uh, and I was saying this to Mac, and Mac insisted that I sing it for you, uh, even though I reminded him that my French is now shaky and my singing always has been. Uh, yeah! And the important thing as well that you need to realize is uh, I've translated it. <laughs> really proud about Deep Blue something. <laughs> like, reference to in French, finally! Oh! Uh, you're not going to shirt off for this. You're like, yeah, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Jeff was talking about wanking. This song will finish me off. Um, <laughs> now that you're in it, you need to realize that uh, I translated both ways. Uh, in Belgian, I use the Belgian title of uh, Diamant's uh, Canapé, which is the title for Breakfast at Tiffany's, which means literally diamonds on pastry. Uh, <laughs> But I'm going to do it for you with the original French title, which was Breakfast at Tiffany's in English, so you'll have that little nugget of English appearing for you. Uh, I'm going to get my back and track. Not that it matters, because I definitely want to be able to keep in time. Because I remind you, I'm a stand-up comedian and in no way a professional singer. Uh, I'm going to do this a cappella without the microphone, because you don't want to torture you with those key changes. Yeah! Uh, you got that backing track? Je connais la vie, mais si j'avais un jugement, on l'aimait en bras. 
I'd be on if there was an easier way to do text-to-speech. 